Welcome everybody to the third ever episode of Poke Guardian podcast. I am Taj from Poke Taj YouTube channel and I'm joined today by Zachariah. Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about, first of all, we'll talk about our card highlights. So card highlights are usually what me and Zachariah have got in the post recently. Um, so we'll talk about the cards that we've picked up. So Zachariah, do you want to talk about a card you've recently acquired for your collection? Yes, just uh, one hour ago. <laughs> very Literally, it was meant for this podcast. Uh, I uh, obtained an uh, Umbreon EX uh, from EX on Scene Forces. That's the, the third podcast I've uh, picked up something from uh, EX on Scene Forces. Yeah, yeah the near mint condition, got a great deal on it. Uh, yeah, like I told you, EX on Scene Forces. That set is becoming so difficult uh, to get cards off in decent condition for a decent price. Uh, they are very, very hard to obtain. Uh, get them now. <laughs> Just my uh, advice. Yeah, and they are stunning looking cards as well. So. And like, as you say, they are, they just seem to be so difficult to acquire now at the moment. So if you do see one that you like, people, just grab it while you can because they seem to be in, in great demand. Absolutely. What did you obtain? <laughs> well, my my recent acquisition, let's shall we say, is was my latest buy delivery. So it's my fourth one now, I think. And um, the main cards that really sort of sort of shone out that i mainly ordered were the full art supporters and the rainbow rare supporters from um s4 astonishing vault tackle so i already had leon full art which i was very very lucky to pull from my um, booster box um so i acquired obviously nisa b and um the leon um rainbow rare so i so i got all three rainbow rares and the two full arts um, SR cards that I was missing. So I was very, very happy with that. So my collection... Very nice purchase. Yeah. And you know what? The artwork is stunning on them as well. I love the way that all the colours on, on all three of them sort of complement each other as well. So as as a set of um, full art supporters, this set really does, the three of them look quite good next to each other. So yeah, really happy with that. Yeah. You should be very happy. They are not too expensive. But they have very nice artwork, and uh, yeah, I can't personally uh, wait to uh, obtain them in vivid voltage. So uh, yeah, so not too long to wait now. So yeah, this should be around the corner. But yeah, it means that my um, Rainbow Rare support collection's back up to full, full scratch, and I'm just missing that Lily from S4 S4 Plus <laughs> from my <laughs> Japanese collection and my full art supporters. A little bit uh, expensive now, uh, sadly. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we move on to the news topics and discussion section of the podcast. So we're going to start by talking about Grokey on the Ball, which is a Game UK exclusive store Pokemon Futsal promo, which has been revealed. We anticipated this would be the next one with the three Gala starters that are on the side of the in-store display unit. And Grokey obviously makes sense, being from a number point of view and a colour point of view, um, what you would expect to be the next one. It's been revealed that it will be out on the 16th of October in store in all game stores in England. Um, anyone in the UK, you can obtain it by making an online purchase from Game UK. So it's not specifically to England online, but it is in store, which makes it a lot more difficult for those in uh, the other countries within the UK to obtain. So, Zachariah, what's your thought on this Grokey card? Yeah, very cool uh, promotion. Uh, I can't wait for the uh, Score Bunny and Sobble. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if I can obtain Pikachu on a ball uh, soon. Um, yeah, but Pokemon Company was also teasing it uh, on Twitter last uh, last week. Yep. So everyone anticipated it was last Friday, but no, yep. it's this Friday. So very awkward. Um, we did uh, obtain the image before it was. Uh, revealed so yeah. also uh, very interesting but what's um, uh, very interesting is that i've, su I've seen an exclusive kit bundle yep. the, the, this, that's the bundle in which you could obtain the picture on the ball promo so that's very odd i did see some of the contents listed on ebay but not the promo so uh, i think it's just a matter of time before 
these promos will be uh, given out. I'm personally very curious um, how many will be given out because uh, they are futsal teams. Yeah. That mean I think uh, maybe five or ten players. It's not uh, not eleven uh, p- uh, players on, a, on on the pitch. Yeah. So um, yeah, I hope they will give uh, give out like twenty uh, per pack or something. I am uh, very curious what they will do. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see because that Pikachu is much sought after. Everyone is trying to find out when it's going to be out, how many are going to be out there. And obviously, because of the nature of the way it's being distributed, how many will end up being mint. Yeah. <laughs> because, yes. um, you know, it's going to be in the hands of a lot of young kids who might not know what they've got. Um, and might um, So it might, not, might be very difficult to get in, um, in a very good condition. Yeah, not not many parents do uh, don't know how to ship uh, these kind of cards. Yeah. They are new with they don't have mostly a clue. Uh, you'd have to uh, know some of these people in real life, maybe, or or just know some of these people who who obtain them. Uh, yeah, everyone wants. Uh, I think every kid wants one, but you know, a lot of kids don't care about these cards. Uh, personally, yeah, they they, are, they want to game uh, Fortnite or. Maybe I'm being too general, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they won't uh, they don't know about the deck sleeves or, or protection. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious um, how many of these uh, will be out there and how many will remain mint. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've seen kids at the age that this is aimed at who I've played or I've seen playing at pre-releases and Pokemon leagues, and they play with unsleeved cards, and their cards are heavily played. Um, a lot of wearing on yeah. the edges, you know. They they just love playing with it, but they don't under, they don't understand about protecting their cards for the long term. Um, so yeah, it's more about in the moment. Yeah, I I do hope um, uh, they will be uh, maybe uh, made aware of that how uh, rare this card is. Yeah. I don't think they will do it. Uh, it. I think personally, it's great. Like I told their previous podcast, it's great. They are doing this for kids because yeah. it's a kids game essentially first. Um, what I do think uh, when um, Pokemon is becoming uh, will get a uh, very dip is maybe they will do um, lottery promos yep. for adults yeah. and kids, of course. But they don't have to do anything other. Than, they don't have to change their uh, uh, their methods and their. Uh, the distribution of cards, they are doing fantastic as this right now. Yeah. So this is this could also become one of the most rarest uh, international English exclusive promos. So absolutely, yeah. Very um, uh, cool. Very very much so. Um, and what's it also interesting as well that this Groki's come out um, on a Friday, exactly sort of a month over from when the EV was released. So we were expecting this Groki right. might have come out last week, but that was just under a month. Uh, so this takes it five weeks from when Eevee was released. So potentially we're looking at a monthly cycle of these promos being released if they're going to continue with this pattern for Score Bunny and um, Squirtle. Is it Squirtle? No, not Squirtle, sorry. Sobble. Sobble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, Sobble. Um, so yeah, so potentially looking at a monthly release, which means the next one might be middle of November we're looking and then the final one might come out a week, week and a half before Christmas, um, which will be quite interesting. Um, yeah. And talking of which, the Pikachu, um, the lottery is meant to be, from what I remember reading on the um, website, for the was November, I think, would start being distributed in November is what they were saying on the website. But we okay. obviously don't know. Like you're saying, you've already seen stuff listed on on eBay, which is, performs part of those kits. So that's quite interesting. Yeah, and, and I do want to add uh, some more uh, things to on this topic. Yeah. Um, I, I, I assume because they have multi, um, multiple years or, or deal uh, with the FA, the Football Association. Yeah. I think it was three years or five years, not sure. Next next season, 2021-2022, uh, we might see another batch of promos. Yeah, could very well do. This, this is very successful. Yeah. This promotion, there are there's demand the internationally for this promo, so absolutely, I think this will return. 
and I hope um, no, I don't. I don't think. I I hope it's being the distributed outside of the UK. Yeah. But uh, no, don't ho- don't hope yeah. for it. <laughs> Maybe we will see these same starters evolved into their next form over the next two years. Well, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> that would be interesting to see them grow through the different age groups of the football team. <laughs> I, absolutely. Yeah, it would be very nice. <laughs> Generations. <laughs> So that's the On The Ball uh, promo, which, like I said, is going to be out on October the 16th, the Grokey card. Uh, Moving on, we have got Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage pre-release promos were revealed um, at the end of September. And we have got probably the strongest lineup of pre-release promos we have seen in a while. I think probably since Team Up, maybe. Um, this this is a really, 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 really good set of four pre-release promos. So we've got uh, Snorlax, some amazing artwork on that. We've got uh, Lugia, which I know you're going to be very happy about. Uh, Don Fan. <laughs> we've got a Don Fan as well, which looks stunning, the artwork on that. And the one that's caused all the Vivid Voltage pre-release kits to sell in record time, the Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Charizard with the Battle Sense ability, um, which we've already seen that card with obviously the original artwork in Astonishing Vault Tackle um, with Leon. That's the artwork that'll be in the theme deck, uh, but there is a new artwork in the pre release promo. And if you look at the artwork of that Charizard, it just reminds me of Detective Pikachu, the sort of in the cage fight. I don't know if you remember that scene or not. Yeah, it it looks very similar to to that, but um, yeah, so quite, quite a it's quite a shock, I think, when Charizard was announced in this in this pre release promos. Um, not yeah, a a shock that it was being revealed, but it doesn't surprise me, yeah, (laughs) (laughs) because the team up Charizard, no, what team up the the team deck Charizard for fifth voltage was in there, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised. It's Charizard, 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 Charizard. Every set, every product. Yeah. Uh, that if there's a reason to to just to release Charizard, the Pokemon company will do it. So, um, very cool, very, very cool promo. By the way, uh, I assume the stuff promo will be very sought after. Um, that's good for me because there will be less demand for Lugia, Dolphin, and Snorlax. Yep. <laughs> Uh, which I think are personally just as amazing promos. Yeah. And what this Charizard reminds me of, it reminds uh, you reminded uh, or being reminded of Detective Pikachu. This pose uh, looks like Charizard from Legendary Treasures. Oh yes, yep. Very much. Uh, the, the not the artist, but the pose, the fighting yeah. pose. Um, but yeah, that, that Snorlax, by the way. The illustrator of that is uh, Narumi Sato. Uh, sorry if I butcher your name, but <laughs> <laughs> that's her first ever commission uh, since uh, she was um, being second at the Pokemon illustration uh, uh, co- competition. Yeah, the Grand Prix. So that's very nice for her. It's great. Um, I hope we can see more of her, of her artwork. Yeah, uh, You can see her style. I don't know if you remember that Eevee. Yeah, from, I remember uh, the Eevee. I was just going to say yeah. she drew the Eevee, didn't under she? The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, under the fence. That's very cool. Um, I wish that was being released as a promo as well, but yeah, she didn't win, of course. Yeah, um, yeah Don Fan also very cool. Um, I'm personally <laughs> going to uh, at least completing one page of uh, Lugia. Uh, yes, yeah, I hope it's being very obtainable. Um Stuff promos, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's because of the COVID situation. I don't know. Uh, they, they can purchase cases on cases. No, uh, I think you would be given out. Uh, I'm not sure. But but I, I'm if you purchased the, the previous uh, pre-release, uh, how many players you got, for example, yeah. you would get enough supply for these players also. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure. I think you get um, one stuff uh, pack for each uh, case, so for each kit. 
So get them uh, as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. Pokemon is very hyped right now. Yep, <laughs> so absolutely. absolutely don't skip on these. It's too otherwise it's being too late. Yeah. Um but yeah, very cool. Very cool promos. Gets me very excited, like we said. Yep. Uh the best lineup since Team Up. I think they won't do uh, a pre release like Team Up again. Uh these are very playable, don't get me wrong. But Jirachi, Zebdos, and they were just I think they've realized they've made a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Using these as promos, yeah. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Yeah, and the thing is, like I said before, um, these sold out in record time. I mean, the place that I usually get my pre-release kits for, because of COVID, the last two sets, obviously Rebel Clash and Darkness Ablaze, we haven't been able to attend pre-release tournaments. So I purchased a case from a uh, 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 game store in the UK, uh, but this time they sold out within 45 minutes, all their pre-release kits, as soon as they put yeah, them up. That's crazy. I had no chance. Um, so, uh, But the, the place I usually go to play pre-release is holding a pre-release um, with limited pod numbers, uh, uh, two sets of six pods, a uh, set of six per pod, two pods with very strict rules and regulations around um, following government guidelines. So um, I will be attending a pre-release. So we'll see how it goes. Um, Depending on the day, how I feel about it, I might just buy the kit and go home or I might actually take part in the pre-release. We'll see what the situation's like. But uh, at least I know I'll get a pre-release kit and have the opportunity to open some packs. Yeah, and uh, before you get uh, before we continue, um, these promo, uh, these pre-release button battle kits, uh, you can buy them, you can leave. So you don't yes. have to attend any event. That's, That's very important information. Yep. It's not, imp- they are allowed to, to sell these. Uh, support your local game store, firstly. Absolutely. But you don't have to uh, attend any pre-release event. Also, the season is over, so you, you can't uh, obtain any pre-release event officially. Yep. If uh, you want to obtain one, it's unofficial. So watch out (laughs) yeah exactly so yeah by all means go to your local game store and obtain if they're doing it contact your local game store find out what their process is some of them are purely just shipping them out Um, others are allowing you to go and pick up and not running an event some will be running events with depending on local restrictions and rules but you do not have to participate you can get your kit and leave Um, yes so definitely worth mentioning that yeah good point on that one Okay, um, we're going to move on to the next thing we were going to cover today, which is Sword and Shield 4.5 special set confirmation. So it's potentially our 25th anniversary set. Do you want to tell us all you know about this so far, Zachary? Yes, um, very exciting. Uh, as f- so far, we, do, we don't have official confirmation that uh, it's a 25th anniversary set, but almost everyone knows February yeah. <laughs> is the 20th, uh, 25th uh, anniversary. Um, it has been confirmed now uh, that the Ultra Pro binders uh, were mentioning the 4.5 placeholder set name. Yeah. We did know uh, of it already unofficially. Uh, we were told these by, by uh, sources. Um, very, very uh, high potential. Um, if this is a shiny star V, which we which we call, we will cover uh, later on in this podcast. So don't leave. Yeah. <laughs> this will be one of the most hyped sets in a while. Champions Path will will be nothing uh, compared to this set. Yeah. Um, if shiny V Max Charizard will be in this set, I don't know where I was going to be. Uh, <laughs> coming it's, you know it's just i think uh, this um yes yeah, calm before the storm yeah you don't know where uh, what's what's going to happen and uh yeah the trainer box spin boxes tins were also being told uh and this uh, w- would take up uh, a full set slot so uh f- so we were told f- uh, sword and shoot five was a i think it was a may set that's right yeah. so, so yeah, very interesting. I'm very curious what they will do with uh, Urshifu and um, 
and both versions these have been confirmed to come now so um very curious we can't we don't know much of the set only that uh, that it will come in february we were told 25th anniversary not officially confirmed by pokemon but uh yeah it's there it's coming so very very exciting absolutely and similar to evolutions where we're expecting because this is taking up the slot of a normal set we might be getting booster boxes we don't know we've not been confirmed but unlike other special sets this might be a set similar to evolutions where you can get loose packs rather than just having to rely on pin boxes and etbs and collection boxes but we'll find out um obviously close to the time when products get released but all i will say to people out there is if you want that charizard shiny charizard vmx potentially that could be in this set save your christmas money as soon as those pre-releases, uh, pre-orders <laughs> drop, um, you might want to invest in trying to get some orders in advance unless you want to be disappointed like a lot of people were with Champion's Path when it came closer to the date. Yeah, 4.5 indicates a special set. Um, even even if there's no Charizard yeah. in this set, I can assure you, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, it's going to be uh, very special. They they have to be they they, they have it, it has to be a very nice set yeah uh, of course it's, it's just an assumption but yeah if there's high chance a shiny star V will be in the set and uh, yeah very very high highly anticipated set like like you said Taj absolutely pre order the second uh, the listings are live on yeah. web shops don't absolutely wait until more uh, more of the set has been revealed first second pre-orders are live no hesitate get three uh, or two elite trainer boxes uh, minimum one yeah and go for it no 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 more uh, i was too late uh, it has been sculpted or pre-ordered the first uh, second when this uh, product is live yeah uh, you, you've seen a champion's path already. Of course, there are going to be reprints, but uh, yeah. Also, by the way, I'm, I, I can't assure you these products will be uh, sold against uh, retail uh, prices, MSOP. But that's how it is. I, I can't stop that from, um, yeah. <laughs> but if there, if the, like I told, like I told everyone, just pre-order the second. Uh, this this is a special set. It has to be good uh, because uh, if there's a special set, the Elite Trainer Box, uh, I think it was sixty dollars MSRP. So you you can expect ten booster packs and a promo card. Yeah, that's that's very good value already. Exactly. So you can't go wrong with uh, the Elite Trainer Box. Absolutely, go for it. Yeah. And another important point there is as well, remember online retailers, if they can get your pre-orders in early enough, it gives them an opportunity to get product at a better price because they're ordering the correct quantity for what they need. When it gets closer to release, they're going to start pushing their prices up. And some of them have been known recently to push above MSRP, which has disappointed a lot of people. But you've got to understand that the earlier you get your pre-order in, you're helping yourself by securing the product, but yeah. you're also helping stores which have limited um, fluid um, cash flow to be able to lock in that cash flow into pre-orders to get it at the best possible price for yourself Absolutely. and for the store. So help them out, help yourselves out, order early, get it at half the price you're probably going to end up paying after release, which is what happened with Champions Path. So. Agreed. Most of the people listening to this podcast are fanatics similar to us who want the product. So make sure you get it get in there early with your pre-orders. Fully agreed. Yep. Okay, we're going to move on now to something Japanese. Uh, Sword and Shield VMAX um, special set officially revealed. Uh, so this is a box that's coming out in Japan. Um, I pre-ordered this back in, God, July or August, I think. It's coming out October the 23rd. So it's only a week away now, next week, Friday. Uh, it costs 1,780 yen, um, so approximately 18 US dollars plus tax. So about $20 with tax. Um, and 
it is basically, let's just think of this as a uh, appetizer for shiny star. Let's just say it's a bit of a best of. What you're getting is you're getting one pack of every single set that's come out this year in Japan, starting from Sword, Shield, VMAX Rising, all the way up to the latest one, which was Astonishing Vault Tackle. So eight booster packs of the eight sets that have come out this year including Legendary Heartbeat as well, may I say. So you've got a chance of getting an amazing rare as well, possibly. And then you get a promo pack. Now, this promo pack is quite unique because it's it's introducing um, four VMAX cards, two of which are reprints, two of which are brand new. And in each pack, you'll get one of those four VMAX promos and you'll get three special hollow energies. And the hollow energies will be the same um, type relating to the, the particular type of VMAX that's in the pack. So we've got more Peko and Cinderace, both which are alternate arts. So you'll obviously get the lightning hollow energy with more Peko, you'll get fire with Cinderace, and then you've got two new VMAXs. You've got Delmice VMAX and you've got Camera VMAX. So quite exciting to see that. Um, both of these new cards add a f new dynamic to the TCG, especially the playability of certain cards. So uh, a lot of people are very excited to see these. And um, Amazon have sold out of these pretty much instantly, uh, Amazon Japan, as soon as they were announced, what's in the packs. Um, but yeah, very interesting stuff. What's your take on this? Very cool product. Um I don't have much uh, more to add, if I'm yeah. honest. No, uh, it's a very fantastic introduction product for everyone, even yeah. if you are here, uh, not Japanese. Uh, order this product, you will get a taste indeed of uh, what Japanese cards are. Uh, one pack of each uh, Sword and Shield set. Um, Cramorant VMAX is, uh, was anticipated. Delmice was uh, not uh, being teased. So that, that's a new card. Uh, nobody saw it coming. Um, yeah, I hope um, Cramorant will be uh, in 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 the, in the pro box soon. Here, I think that will be very cool. Something more like a, uh, a Cramorant V and V Max box. Um, yeah. By the way, I think that more pack of V Max should have been included in that Marnie uh, Champions Path uh, Marnie uh, box. Yeah. Um, that Cinderace, uh, I, I, the Cinder, yeah, Cinderace VMAX. I'm not sure why only Cinderace has been included. I think they should have uh, been uh, included uh, also. Uh, Intellion and uh, Rillaboom, but yet I'm, I'm not sure. I'm looking at the card, and is this her uh, Gigantamax form? I th I don't think it is. Uh, if that's not the case, I think they will introduce uh, in Sword and Shield 5 uh, the G Gigantamax uh, starters uh, as new uh, uh, VMAX uh, cards, which does make sense if that's true, um, because also uh, Blastoise, um, Venusaur, and Charizard uh, will get a new uh, VMAX uh, starter set. And Absolutely, they have been teased to, to get the Gigantamax forms as well. Um, would be also very fitting if the starters get their Gigantamax forms. Yeah. Um, yeah, very cool set. And also, the energies are uh, mirror foil. So, uh, for the price, how much? Uh, 15 euros. Yeah. How much dollar is that? Maybe 16, 18 dollars. Yeah. It's a fantastic product. One of four VMAX in one. In one pack, very cool. Yeah, and, and as you've said as well, and I tweeted about this, if you've never purchased any Japanese products before and you've been sitting on the fence wanting to possibly try and open maybe some Japanese packs, this is the perfect starter product. For the price, for what you're getting, you're getting a pack of each set, even if you want to keep it as a sealed collection of booster packs, you've got a whole year's worth of booster packs there ready just a single pack of each sealed you won't be able to get packs cheaper than this individually outside of japan i would say 
if you if you really want to start an instant seal collection or want to open some Japanese packs, perfect product. So we have um, completed this section. Now we're going to move on to um, one of our main topics of focus, which is S4A Shiny Star V has officially been revealed. And we have got, as we mentioned earlier, Shiny Charizard VMAX. It's been revealed. The card has been shown and the artwork for the pack has been shown, which also gives us a few clues about what we can expect to see. And we've also seen some other cards that will be in the set as well. This set's going to have 127 shiny cards, which have, which has been confirmed, 127. The set itself is three, well over 300 cards. Um, you've got 190 cards in the main set. And then obviously you're going to have SRs, HRs, URs, and then SSRs, and I'm assuming S cards as well. Um, we'll have to see how that works out. But this is going to be insanely huge set. And as normal, it's a high class set, 10 packs in a box. Each pack contains 10 cards. So you're getting 100 cards in a booster box. And we don't know what the pull rates are going to be. But even if we go by what we've had in previous years, you're probably not going to have more than two or three um, shiny cards in a booster box. What are your thoughts on this set? Is it what you expected? Uh, uh, <laughs> well, um, yeah, I don't have uh, many uh, words uh, right now. Charizard, yep. shiny, <laughs> Vmax. Yeah, I no, no that's being, uh, and th they've only teased this specific Vmax. Yes, they know absolutely what they are doing. Yeah, and uh, yeah. The whole community, the CG community, went uh, nuts uh, of this card, um, and absolutely everyone. Uh, I think it was one week ago or not, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks already. Oh, that's going fast. They were pre-ordering this at the last minute until this uh, set was released. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's that's far too late. You had, I think, more than two months to to pre-order. And we've and mentioned now, this set. In previous podcasts, I think. Absolutely. And we've been I telling think. people, pre-order it, get your orders in. Um, but people were leaving it late. No, they, they were they were overhyping the, the wrong set. Yeah. They were going for champions pack. Yeah. I don't blame I don't blame everyone. Yeah. But yeah, this 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 right there is the the, the money set. Yeah. And um I think the champions path also is a is a money set for what, what it is, of course. Yeah. But this this set will age so well, just like uh, shine, um, uh, GX Ultra Shiny does. Yep. It, I think how much is a box right now? One fifty, two fifty. I don't know anymore. Yeah, I've I've not checked recently. It's got to that point where you, where you know I think I opened five booster boxes of that, and I wouldn't even think about looking at prices now. No, it's just yeah. Wish I'd kept the box sealed. <laughs> yes, but yeah. You, the, the, this this kind of um, high class sets, you don't you just pre order them at the minute. The listings are uh, the pre orders are live. Even if you don't uh, like Japanese products, there is most of the time, ninety nine percent, there's something in there that's just very cool. Uh, even if you don't uh, like uh, Japanese cards. Come on, there are 10 packs. You are guaranteed one V or V max per pack. Exactly. That's just that's insane. And one, uh, like you say, one, uh, one, uh, tw uh, 127 shiny cards have been confirmed. That's, uh, I think, 100 more. No, sorry, 27 more than. Uh... No, um, it's I, I figured it as 50% more than what we had in. Um... Ultra Shiny GX because the hundred secret cards included the full arts, uh, oh, right. the full art supporters, etc. The, cards. Et the yeah. gold cards. So once you take that away, I think it's eighty three shiny and shiny GX cards in Hidden Fates, um, which sorry in um, 
Ultra Shiny GX. So this is 50% more shiny cards. So this set is huge. I think it's the biggest set I've seen in my time of collecting in, J in the Japanese set by far. This is the biggest set so far. Yeah, I think ever. 190 plus 127. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, at least... And then you've got to add the the ultra rares, the hyper rares, yeah, the SR yeah, super rares. Yeah. You know that's going to add another what 20, 30 cards on top. I estimated yeah. this set's going to be around three hundred and fifty cards. Yeah, absolutely, um, something you know, like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just I don't know what to say. Just just if you see any stores that's selling a little bit above the retail price, just pre-order it. You will thank me later. The set is just, even if um, Shiny Star V will be in the 20th anniversary set, 25th anniversary set, and in international, it won't be as good as this set. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, of course, it has a lot of reprints, but this these sets are more complete as a whole than what we get internationally. Just like Champions Path, they are ripping out Shiny Charizard V from this specific set that's an uh, assumption but we can all agree on that shiny charge v from champions path will be in the set because charizard uh, shiny v max is in there yeah would be, would be would be very weird if it doesn't uh, be in there but yeah it's just like hidden fates uh, they remove some shiny cards for other products which is amazing don't get me wrong but this set is the complete package. Go for it. Um, I hope uh, they will uh, do more V and V Max than more regular shiny cards. Um, and by the way, we don't know what um, the rarity is called for V Max cards SSR and for the shiny, just S. As of now, we don't officially know what these cards, uh, what this rarity means. So, Maybe it could be shiny secret rare. No, sorry, shiny super rare, or or uh, I don't know what what's it called. <laughs> yeah. So uh, secret uh, super rare, we don't know, but uh, yeah, SSR, just just amazing. Yeah. Uh, like you told me, one I think one V Max or V uh, shiny per box, and maybe one, two or three shiny per per box. Yeah. And uh, maybe one wild card for, uh, like you said, a uh, potential ultra rare or uh, a full art supporter. But yeah, amazing, amazing set. Yeah, uh, definitely. And yeah. it's also it's also a way that Japan's getting some of the um, alternate art promos that we've had in the West. So like Zashian, Zamazenta, Tins that we've had, um, Wulu, uh, sorry, Double. Rillaboom and a few of the others, they're getting alternate arts that haven't been seen in Japan. So they're getting those. Um, the only other two shiny cards that have been revealed so far are Decidueye and Oranguru. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what, what we get in this set. I mean, just to give you an idea, Decidueye's number is 202 of 190. It's got a um, rarity rating as S which is consistent with um, what hit, um, Ultra Shiny GX had. Um, mm -hmm. Same with Orangaroo. is 297 of 190. And then Charizard VMAX is 308 of 190. Considering it's a fire type, um, that shows you that obviously any other VMAXs which are of different typing and above, after um, Grass and Fire will obviously be after that. And then obviously you're going to potentially have gold cards as well. So we're easily going to be hitting that 320 plus mark as far as cards are concerned in this set. So yeah, interesting stuff. Now talking about um, Shiny Star V, we also have a very nice product coming out, which I know Sakurai is very excited about. It's the high class pack Shiny Star V Nisa Nessa set has officially been revealed. This is a it's pretty standard. The last box we had, which looks similar to this, was the Marnie one, wasn't it, I think? There's yes. a Marnie box, yeah. So what you're getting here is you're getting two booster boxes of Shiny Star V, which on its own is great. 
um, and then you're getting the uh, a pack of deck sleeves um, featuring Nessa and Dreadnought, and you're getting a deck box with the same artwork on it. You're getting a coin and a cardboard storage box um, for you to store your cards in as well. So um, it is a very nice product. I think this will age very well. Um, it will definitely, as soon as this is out of print, the price will start to skyrocket. Um, I'm sure of that. Um, but just for the booster boxes alone, I think this is this is a pro well worth it, you know? Because when you think about the cost of the booster boxes, you're getting the other products, which are going to be highly sought after for very little um, in price. So do you want to talk about anything else about this set? I think you've uh, worded it perfectly, uh, yeah. but yeah, uh, if you wanted to buy shiny star V boxes for five thousand five hundred yen, yep. So yeah, you'll get two, so that's eleven thousand yen. That's around fifteen hundred yen, roughly, for these merchandise. And uh, yeah, like you told me, what like you've told uh, everyone now, when this product is out of print. You've paid only more less than fifteen dollars for yeah. this kind of merchandise, with which I think is just steel. But of course, the Japanese online uh, center so Japanese center online stores as um, limited of two products per person, so you can you can't buy uh, fifty of them <laughs> at once. Yeah. Um, so they know what they are doing. Uh, amazing value, just amazing value. There's custom artwork uh, also you can uh, download the, the artwork of uh, Nessa in a very high resolution the same with uh, the Bia rubber playmat set uh, so you can download that at the PG wiki these are our very good friends uh, in a very high resolution it's very cool you can set it as your wallpaper so uh, go for it. <laughs> yes, a <laughs> massive resolution. Of, uh, it's 5,732 by 4,734. Yeah. So very high resolution. The link is in um, the article on Poke Guardian to take you over to the Fiji yes. Wiki um, image where you can download it from. But yeah, stunning artwork. Absolutely stunning. And yeah, they've made a mistake because uh, I think many people uh, print uh, custom play mats mm. <laughs> and uh, don't set them. Uh, if you print them, Print them for your own uh, uh, sake. Don't sell it because that's illegal. Yeah. Uh, in Japan, uh, some people were caught doing this. Yeah, they are criminally criminally charged for it. So uh, yeah, don't uh, don't do these practices. Watch Absolutely. out. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's it's very dangerous. No, not dangerous. It could be very. Uh, you, will, I think, you'll get fined. Yeah. It's a breach of copyright. So obviously be, yeah. be aware. These images are for your personal use only. Don't print them uh, to, to make money off because you will you will be caught by Pokemon. <laughs> if, they, if, well, if they catch yeah. you, you'll be in serious trouble. That's not, not, not even Pokemon. I think even uh, regular law, if they spot this, you will be in trouble, I assume. Yes. So, uh, yeah. For using copyrighted material. That, that's that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, very Valkyrie product. I am getting two. Um, one to keep sealed and one to open. Uh, because, yeah, there are two boxes of Shiny Star V. Who can, uh, who can ignore Shiny Star V uh, when it's, it's been released? Uh, what I do want to mention about Shiny Star V, um, the, the previous Shiny set, GX Ultra Shiny, when it uh, was released, it was so busy in Japan. Um, at the metro, there was a wait starting from the metro up up, uh, up to the Pokemon Center in Japan. Yep. I think in multiple cities, there were queues and queues and so long queues. And I think uh, our friend Brace Gaming, Ryan from Brace Gaming, um, he was uh, in there live. And if I'm if I do remember, I'm not sure sure about this. The lines were cut off, and maybe you you would get a ticket or something, and yep. you could uh, go into the Pokemon Center. So, and I think you were not guaranteed going in there. I'm not certain, but it could yeah, it, it could have it been. Was, there was a cut off, wasn't there? Yeah, they literally pulled a rope across 
then gave out everyone like almost uh, tickets to come back at certain times, I believe, um, to go into the Pokemon Center. Our good friend Dora Bazoru as well. She lives yes. in Kyoto. She was queuing, like you say, from the metro station. I remember her tweeting pictures of sitting at the platform at the metro station trying to get to the Pokemon Center, and the queue was hours long. Um, so yes, we've had friends who experienced it last time. That was at the time of the infamous Pokemon card drought of 2018 as well, um, yeah. where the Starter Decks came out that year. There's a famous Japanese YouTuber who'd done some videos on the Pokemon card game as well. And basically the sales of Pokemon cards went up 400% that year. And I think it caught everyone by surprise. So there was not enough supply to meet the demand. But I think things have definitely got better since then. So I don't think we're going to have such a supply issue. But because of what's in this set, the initial demand is going to be so high. It is going to be um, very, very difficult um, to get the first opening weekend, I think, of this set releasing. Yeah, and there will be reprints, uh, just like Ultra Shiny got. Uh, yeah. There were case on cases uh, the, the next uh, couple of weeks. So, yeah, in Japan, you don't have to worry, but just get it in perspective. Yeah. Even if it's not hyped here, it will be hyped in Japan alone. Yes. All of Asia will absolutely uh, try to get as many boxes as possible. So even if you're not in Asia, uh Many people will just go for the set. Absolutely. The first, second, the set is live. The next one, the next shiny set, pre-order it. No regrets. Um, we don't want any uh, people that will be disappointed because there will be a lot of people disappointed. Yeah. That's that's because many people are not as uh, engaged uh, into Pokemon TCG as some of the collects are or don't follow the news as regularly. And they miss out. Um, and it's not the fault of the stores. It's just the um, attention, the sheer hype. Not even uh, outside of Asia. It's inside of Asia that's going to sell this product out instantly. Yeah. So different market, but the, the hype is even bigger than Champions Path because it's, it's Asia. Definitely. And, um, yeah, just put it in. It sold out two, uh, two years ago. It will sell out uh, this time as well. More shiny cards, more reason to buy more products. Of course, there will be singles, but yeah, people will buy. If if it, people there, if they want uh, shiny cards, they will buy 10 boxes if possible, maybe 50. A lot of uh, Japanese people go absolutely crazy. Yep. Uh, if you thought people here were crazy, no. Japanese people are collectors could be. <laughs> how, yeah, how do you say I, I've seen I've seen Japanese collectors <laughs> open cases. We're not yeah. talking about just booster boxes, but cases, cases. of sets like yeah. this. Um, they save up hard, they spend hard, and yeah. they really enjoy opening all of those packs to try and get as many as they can. Um, Absolutely. So they are fanatical about it as much as we are, but they go to the next level. So um, it level. will, yeah, absolutely. So expect to see um, high demand for this set. So yeah, as Zachariah says, make sure if you do see when the reprints come out, there are some available to order. Be quick on it. There are now a lot of people outside of Japan, a lot more people collecting Japanese sets than ever before. So um, you don't want to miss out. So make sure you do. Okay, I think we've covered everything for this episode now. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, what we've been discussing in episode three. Hope you're liking our podcast. Any questions, suggestions, you can obviously go to pokeguardian.com and uh, contact us there. I hope you've enjoyed the podcast and we're going to see you again very soon on episode number four. Look after yourselves and we'll be back very soon. Take care. Goodbye.